Hi, I'm Darren Kaplan from the Canacribs Horticultural Consulting Team. And today we're here to share some concepts that we discuss and implement to help commercial cannabis growers operate as efficiently and successfully as possible. One thing that we find that growers struggle with quite a bit is to make decisions on how to manage their canopy. Deciding when to prune, de-leaf, and work on the canopy in general can be challenging even for the best of growers. One of the tools that we like to use to help make decisions on how to manage our canopy is to estimate the leaf area index, or LAI. So what is leaf area index? The LAI is a tool used in plant physiology to estimate the amount of light that the canopy is capturing as a proportion to how much it's actually receiving. It's a measurement of the one-sided leaf area as a proportion to the area of ground underneath that same area of canopy. It's very challenging to get an accurate measure of leaf area index. The best methods are typically destructive where you have to remove all the leaves from the plants, measure them on some kind of scanner. There's some available from Lycor, for example, and it's a useful tool for research, but not necessarily practical for growers who are in the field working at it every day. In practical applications, we like to use a PAR meter. A single point PAR meter works fine from Apogee, for example, to measure the light at the top of the canopy and at the bottom of the canopy, just above the growing media, to give you an estimation of how much light is actually being intercepted by the canopy and how much is hitting your bench, your floor, or the table. And that lets you know how much light is being wasted and how much is being used by your canopy. We don't want any wasted light, but we also don't want too much light uh, being intercepted by the canopy, which indicates that your canopy might be too dense and cause some other problems like fungal pathogens or poor light interception. We want to make sure that light is hitting all the bud sites that you want to hit and that all the leaves that are on the canopy are being used. A leaf that is at the bottom of the canopy that is not receiving any light is a sink on energy and is not actually doing much benefit to your, to your crop or to your plant. And remember, 1% more light intercepted by your canopy can translate to 1% more yield at the end of the day. So now, we're going to show you how to estimate LAI in an indoor environment using a single point PAR meter. First, we're going to take our PAR meter and we're going to measure the PPFD at the top of the canopy. We're going to use 5 to 10 points and average them so we get an even representation of what the PAR levels are at the top of the canopy. Next, we measure PPFD just above the surface of the growing media. Again, take several measurements. Next, we're going to take PAR measurements below your canopy. Everyone's canopy is different, but pick a consistent point below your canopy and measure five to 10 different points to get a nice even average of the PPFD below your canopy. But avoid taking measurements too close to the stems of the plants or the borders of the table to avoid shading effects and border effects. We'll take the average of these values, par at the top of the canopy and par below the canopy, and we'll plug it into the equation that you see here. You can use target values of LAI to make informed decisions on when to deleaf when to prune, and when to make other canopy management decisions. You can use this to make your procedures consistent and repeatable and easy to train on so that your crop will be consistent time and time again. If you have an LAI of 4.5 or higher, your canopy is probably too dense. And you might want to think about pruning, deleafing, managing your canopy in a different way. If your LAI readings 2.5 or below, then you might want to consider letting your plants grow in because your canopy is a little bit too sparse and you're not in, they're not intercepting as much light as they could be. We prefer to set LAI targets based on the cultivation strategy, the strain, and the stage of growth. When you're looking at stage of growth, your LAI is going to be typically lower uh, during veg and early flowering when your plants are not fully developed and grown in during mid-flowering, as the plants, you want the plants to intercept as much light as possible to put on yield and grow large, we have a slightly higher LAI target. Then, during late flowering, when you want light penetration to the lower and middle buds, we prefer a slightly lower LAI target again, corresponding with a deleafing event, to allow light interception for maturation and uniformity within the crop. Keep in mind that the game changes a little bit when you start using under canopy lighting. With under canopy lighting, you can allow the light from underneath the canopy to ripen the lower and bottom buds and the light coming from the top of the canopy to handle the top and middle buds again. Keep in mind that these targets are just general recommendations. Your LAI targets should vary with your cultivars, cultivation system, and growth stages. We recommend collecting LAI data as much as you can on as many crops as you can, recording the data, analyzing it, and using it to make informed decisions on the next crops. Even if you find that your crop quality is good and you're having successful crops, after you measure LAI, you might find that you have a good percentage of light that is not being intercepted by the canopy and is being wasted. You might be able to prune less, to veg longer, or to increase your planting density 
to better capture that light and increase your yields and maintain your quality. If you're interested in having Canicribs Consulting assist in designing, building, or optimizing your facility, please fill out the intake form in the description below. Even if your operation is running well, we can be a sounding board for fine-tuning your facility, educating your team, or streamlining your processes. We work worldwide, and our team consults in five different languages. If you're interested, reach out to us and we can quote you on our services.